Technically, free agency doesn't open until March 17. The tampering window, when teams can technically negotiate but can't officially sign players, begins on March 15. So we haven't seen what many deals will look like in 2021 for the likes of Ryan Fitzpatrick, Tyrod Taylor and Andy Dalton, all of whom figured to have similar deals. Here's a look at the veterans who are earning in the same ballpark at this moment, if Newton only makes his base. Chase Daniel, Lions, $5,300,000 Nick Foles, Bears, $6,666,666 and here are the comparable deals, if Newton starts to hit his escalators, Case Keenum, Browns, $7,333,333 Marcus Mariota, Raiders, $10,725,000 if he gets paid $5 million, he will carry the 31st highest cap hit for a quarterback. If Newton gets paid $14 million, he will still carry the same cap hit. His earnings, however, will be comparable to the 18th highest cap hit for a quarterback. These are extremely reasonable sums for a player who they expect to compete for, but not necessarily win, the starting job. When the news broke that Newton would return, more reports followed that indicated the Patriots weren't likely to settle on Cam as the undisputed starter. New England is going to add another quarterback, and there are plenty of options through trade, in free agency and in the draft. Newton probably has the clearest path to win the starting job whenever training camp starts. He'll compete against Jarrett Stidham and the mystery quarterback. And because Newton has Super Bowl experience and a year of experience in the Patriots system, he should win the job. The Patriots have ample cap space. Right now, it's about $60 million before factoring in the additions of tackle Trent Brown and special teams ace Justin Bethel. Even after their deals hit the cap, the Patriots will have enough money to bolster the receiver and tight end positions in a big way. Newton should be throwing to better players than what he had last year, an injured Julian Edelman, an underdeveloped Nikhil Harry, an emerging but underutilized Jacoby Myers and an ineffective Damier Bird. Time will tell whether that helps him step up from his lackluster passing season in 2020 when he completed 65.8% of his passes for 2,657 yards, 8 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. Perhaps with a stronger supporting cast in 2021, he will play much better.